sure I like a big pizza pie, that's amore. That's amore. Where the stars make you true, just like pasta for zoo, that's amore. That's amore. An Irish guy in the Italian spirit. Doesn't get much better than that, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to this segment of singingcook.com. I'm Dave with Stephanie. Hi there. And we are going to cook you a nice, delicious chicken masala that you'll die for. Okay, now we have our chicken breast. These are boneless chicken cutlets. Now, keep in mind, they're very thin. Um, you don't want to buy boneless breast because in the grocery store, those are very thick. These are what they call thin sliced boneless chicken breast or cutlets as they may call them. Um, you want the thin ones because when you put them into the flour as we're doing here, um, they quite frankly get a little thicker on their own. From here, we're going to take them and, would you hold that for me, Stephanie? Sure I'm sorry. Thing. And we're gonna, put them into a little bit of an egg wash that I have here. I like to add a little water, uh, thus we call it egg wash. We're gonna dip it in the egg and then we're going to take this pretty baby cutlet and put it into the breadcrumbs. These are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. You can season them any way you want. That looks delicious. They are really good. And you can use this as a base to any chicken recipe you want. This is going to be our chicken masala today, folks. So. Obviously, we'll have a little masala wine involved. And uh, we're going to let that cook up in a nice extra virgin olive oil. And uh, we'll show you the finished product when it's all done. Okay, we've had this on a relatively high heat uh, with the olive oil. And as we turn the chicken, you can see that now it's starting to crust up nicely, uh, which is the way I like it. But you can use your own judgment on that. Some people prefer less of a crunch. But I think the crunch makes it, so I do too. Um, we turn it around like that, and there you have How good that looks. Mm, doesn't it look good? And uh, we'll turn it over, probably let it cook for another five minutes on that side, and then we'll uh, put it off to the baking pan and show you some other secret tips. Okay, and our chicken cutlets are just about fried up in the olive oil, and I noticed I said olive oil. Um, rather healthy. We're going to make this as healthy of a dinner as we can. Uh, so we're going to let the chicken cutlets drain off just a little bit. Uh, and again, remember I mentioned earlier, uh, you want to go with the thin chicken uh, sliced cutlets as opposed to boneless chicken breast because look at how thick those babies have uh, turned out. Uh, they actually seem to thicken up as you cook them. Okay, piping hot right out of the uh, skillet here. And what I'm doing now is I've taken care of the rest of the olive oil. I've uh, kind of got rid of that in the pan and left the crumbs from the chicken that are left in the pan in there. We're going to take a little masala wine. Roughly how much should you put in? Eh, I would say, well, in this case, maybe half a bottle, okay. um, you know, because we have a lot of chicken to go here. Um, but, you know. You can add more as you go? Yes, you know, okay. we have the masala wine there. We're going to add some sliced mushrooms. Now again, the breadcrumbs are in there, the cooked breadcrumbs that fell off the chicken are in there. Believe it or not, they're going to adhere to the, the mushrooms and make for a real delightful sauce when all is said and done. So we're going to let that uh, cook up just a little bit. And then after that, we'll add some, uh, some heavy cream and pour it over the chicken and off to the oven. But uh, let's let this uh, cook up just a little bit more and uh, we'll go forward. Oh, okay, as the mushrooms are tenderizing in the masala wine, we're going to put a little Romano cheese. I love Romano cheese over any Italian dish because it's a nice sharp cheese that brings out the flavor. Uh, and now we're going to add a little heavy cream. This does not have to cook long at all. So we're going to take a little heavy cream. That's kind of redundant, isn't it? Little heavy, or yeah, that's kind of a little heavy. <laughs> contradictive. Yeah, contradictive. That's what I'm trying to say. A little heavy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to mix that up. Ooh, look that at that. Take, good. take, take. It'll take a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells awesome. Doesn't it? Now we're going to, from there, because we don't want the cream to burn or boil, so we're going to pour this over the chicken. Now again, this is just a little bit of cream mixed in with masala wine and mushrooms. And I'm doing this like this so that we get mushrooms on the entire did chicken. Did I tell you the joke about that? Well, I did tell that joke. You did tell episode. the joke. No, Let's not I love that joke, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we go, and as you can see, Wow, that amazing. And then for the finished topping, slice mozzarella cheese. Again, you can get that anywhere you want. 
in any grocery store. But what would a chicken masala dish be without mozzarella cheese? I don't know, Dave. What would a chicken dish be without mozzarella cheese? It would be a boring chicken dish without mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. cheese. And now the finished product has appeared, the moment we've been waiting for, the chicken masala. La 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 la! It's starting to sound like I Love Lucy. <laughs> Lucille Ball here. <laughs> anyway, the, it is finished. We have the chicken masala ready to eat. And hopefully you will enjoy this recipe. And speaking of recipes, folks, don't forget, as you know, Steph, mm -hmm. we have a contest. Once a month, we're going to be awarding $50 to uh, a favorite recipe that our staff approves that you might very well send in. So. Feel free to come on singingcook.com and register with a recipe that we might be able to use and present to many of our following out there across the world. Okay. Once again, thank you for joining us for this session. And we can only have one more thing to sing. When the moon hits you, I like a big pizza pie. That's amore. That's amore. When the stars make you true, just like pasta for zoo. That's amore. That's amore. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, and you sing Vita Bella. Hearts will taste, shall we fade now and get out of here? Good night, see you. Bye. Bye.